Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching us from. And praise the Lord. Today, we come your way again with another short devotion on Tano TV. The channel is Tano TV. Kindly subscribe, like our comment, give, like the page, leave your comments, and then we'll get back to you. All right. My name is Jose Tutuan Ponsai the District Minister of the Church of Pentecost in Nigeria. This evening, I want to talk to you on something brief. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will touch your heart and reveal himself unto you. And our topic for the evening is see to it that no one leads you astray. See to it that no one leads you astray. Matthew chapter 24, from verse 4, then I'll jump to the 11th verse. Matthew chapter 24 from verse 4. The ESV says, And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. The NIV says, Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you. The NLT says, Jesus told them, Don't let anyone mislead you. The tree, the Asante tree says, Now you should go out and say, Motion will be under To receive such a portion from our Lord and Master Jesus is, 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 is something we must take serious. He says that be careful that no one leaves you astray. In this day and era, on our social media platforms, on all sort of um, media or medium when you pick the radio when you pick the tv people are speaking and preaching and anywhere you go someone seems to have a certain kind of doctrine and that you are preaching and you are professing someone says that i am not a christian but i believe in god and i am a pastor how could this be someone says that i don't believe in the bible i just use the bible for references the unfortunate part of this thing is that you find so many people in such so-called church buildings. All these ones, in a way, are being led astray. I, I am not here to sound judgment, but I'm here to sound a word of caution to you that Jesus says that, see to it that no one leads you. The, the disciples, disciples on the Mount of Olives were asking for when the glory of God will come, when the end will come. And Jesus is in his answer. His first warning that he gave them is that, and Jesus answered, See that no one leaves you astray. For the verse 5 says, For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. We find this on our radios, we find this on our TVs. We find it on our phones. Many professors that we are Christ. Someone says that Jesus was in Israel and that he has come and he is in Ghana. If that is his territory, he is here to take it. My brothers, my sisters, I pray this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time you are watching this broadcast, that do not be deceived. Do not be carried away. I, I watch some of these videos on social media and sometimes you are, you are worried. Someone says I was a Christian until I found out the truth. That you don't have to worship Christ and that you can't you can only worship the, the creators, the things that God has created. And sometimes it, it baffles me. But you find so many people blinded by by the devil and they are misled in this way. In the verse 11 of Matthew chapter 24. The Bible says from the years, and many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And many prophets, and many, they are not just prophets, but they are false prophets. There is the adjective false describing them. There are so many good prophets these days. But they don't even come out loud. But unfortunately for us, those false uh, prophets are so loud and they have so much space in, in, in the air. 
They have so much space to talk. They have so much space to declare, to, to talk about what they do. My brothers, my sisters, we'll be ending this in a very short while. But I just want you to be very cautious of what Jesus on the cross has died, has done for you and I. He died on the cross to save you and I. And, and that is the most important thing for us. Don't go following people for all sorts of questions. You want to hear things. Don't be misled. Don't be misled. Well, so many people are so sincere, and the money for the bread, they can't sell me any more. They don't even know how to do so. I think we need to get out of here completely because the prophet, the prophet has said that don't do this. The prophet has said that don't do that. My brother, my sister, my mother, my father, listening to me wherever you are. The word of God is clear, and the portion is clear that. See that no one is mean to you. So we are That's a uko be yesi mi yuko be bi ma yuko be dia. Emma, ayare sana uko mwanti. Emma uti ko she. Enu mi dia se. Emma uti ko she di di biara. Eni kwa yesi uko. Mesha kabed nebu. Eni Hebrew boys no. They said that we will not bow. Na na yam kada. Yam kuto umi. Umi ni se no jawo. And their, their, their confession was that we know that our God is able to save us. And even if, even if He doesn't save us, we will not worship, we will not bow. Many people are running looking for miracles and it's leading them astray. Please, yes, you don't. Don't be misled. There are so many false prophets on the way. If you don't know Christ, I recommend Jesus unto you. Wherever you are, I recommend the Church of Pentecost for you. I can know and I say for sure that in the Church of Pentecost, the doctrines we preach are about Christ and will never be led astray by what is preached in the church. If you don't know Christ this afternoon, this morning, this evening, wherever you are, I will do you a great dishonor if I don't help you accept Christ. Wherever you are, you can pray this prayer with me. Even as I end this message, say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God and you came to die for me. I accept you into my life. Come and take charge of my life. Be Lord over my life. Rule over my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed this prayer, beloved, you are saved. Just make a move. Join a Bible believing church like I recommend such a Pentecost to you, and you will be fine. May the Lord bless you, even as you are on your guard, that you will not allow yourself to be misled by a false prophet. Be alert to the promptings of the Holy Spirit when you enter into an atmosphere where people are being misled. Yes. Yami will heal. Pray for yourself, pray for your family, and don't. The, the, the encounter with faith. God bless you. Shalom.